Yeah, man. Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, welcome to the vlog. I wasn't intending on vlogging today, but just decided I was gonna pick up the camera and do it. So here we are. Uh, I'm currently just drinking some coffee and doing some some client programming. And uh, my favorite part of the day, of course, is just the view. This is what I get to look at while I work. So definitely not mad about it. <laughs> Then uh, I'm going to I'm gonna head over to get a leg workout in and then train a client at the gym. Figured I'd take you with me, see where the day goes. That's it, so uh, I will see you in a bit. All right, time to head to the gym. It's funny, I thought today was my leg day. It's my client's leg day. It's my chest day. So now I'm like stressed and rushed for time so I can get that done before I start training my client. Ah, <sighs> anxiety. Anyways, I'll just take a moment. Observe the view, take a few breaths. All right, we're good. Let's go to the gym. All right, so the last chest workout video I did, it contained more compound movements with the barbell, but luckily this time the bench was open so i was able to get into the dumbbells so i started off with just a regular dumbbell press my rep range is between 8 to 12 for each movement that i'm doing and i'm doing four sets for each movement as well my <laughs> my tempo seemed to change kind of a little bit more towards the end because i was running out of time and i started to uh superset things i was definitely feeling more fatigued than usual because i wasn't able to take my full rest periods so this is a incline bench press basically same thing only you're at a slight incline this hits the upper chest quite well it is also more fatiguing i'm always well it's in general people are a little bit weaker on the incline press um, again the rep range is anywhere between 8 to 12 I like to do my programming in phases, so pretty soon I'll probably be switching up back into a strength phase. I'm in a hypertrophy phase right now, so the rep range of 8 to 12, 12 is generally the optimal rep range for muscle growth, which is what I'm really going for now. So this is a incline dumbbell fly. You can also do this on a flat bench, but I chose to do the incline bench today because I also like to superset this movement with a close grip chest press, I guess you would call it. So I do 10 flies and then I switch it up to the close grip press right here, as you can see. So I just do five of those to finish it off. And let me tell you, you will feel the burn, you will feel it in your chest and also your triceps. But this is one of my favorite uh, superset movements. You should You should try it. After this, I moved to just a regular shoulder press, uh, seated shoulder press, and uh, on this one, I tried to hit 10 reps, but you will see me fail on rep 9, and as much as I hate failing, <laughs> I did, but you know what? It's a learning experience. I was just too fatigued. My rest periods were not uh, long enough because... As you can see, it was getting pretty busy. So one, I was in a rush. Two, my anxiety kicked up and I was like, must finish, must finish. This is kind of a great workout if you work out at home and all you have is a set of dumbbells and a bench because basically th this is the majority of my workout. I'll use the cables a bit at the end here, but so far, you've probably noticed I have not moved. <laughs> so good home workout. This is just a seated lateral dumbbell raise and I ended up supersetting this with the uh, bent over reverse fly to hit the rear delt. Not my favorite choice of supersetting since my <laughs> shoulders were already pretty fatigued so they're a little bit ugly but I was super short in time at this point so they it burned a lot and they were not the the best looking but I was just aiming to get it done. And uh, so that is the end of the shoulder part of this workout. 
And then next, I'm going to be moving over to the triceps. So for triceps, started out with just the uh, bar push down this time versus the rope push down. Your hand placement is a little bit different. Uh, I tend to feel this a little bit more in the long head uh, versus when I use the rope. All I see in myself right now is my anxiety head trying to finish everything and then not get in anyone's way. <laughs> oh, good times. It was definitely getting a little bit busy in there. Then I moved to the uh, underhand tricep pull down, and this kind of just changes up your grip position a little bit. So it's kind of cool just by, you know, changing your grip that you can tweak different movements and hit different parts of your muscles, different parts of your tricep. I ended it by supersetting with a dip movement and that tricep pull down movement. And then I called it a day. My arms were on fire. I like to keep my rest periods at about 60 seconds, but today they were between 30 to 45. But got to do what you got to do. That was the workout. Thanks for watching. Okay, back in the gym. Got a good workout in. Train a client. Now it's time to eat some food. So I'm just going to kind of show you what I've got going on. Um, all right. <laughs> so we got leftover crock pot chicken from the other day. We got some kale. And someone asked what I had against regular potatoes. And uh, nothing. I, I don't have anything. I just prefer sweet potatoes. But I'm going with these hash browns today. Because I ran out of sweet potatoes. They're actually uh, in the oven as I speak. So those are cooking up. I really just prefer the taste of sweet potatoes. Also, they have a uh, lower... <laughs> they are lower on the glycemic index, so they don't spike your blood sugar as much. They keep me full longer. They have more fiber. Sorry for Carly's footsteps. Um, yeah, let's get to the food port. done got the potatoes and the kale and the chicken and uh, I'm starving and I'm going to disappear into my work for a few hours take Carly for a walk yeah and then uh, come back for dinner and I'll see you then so uh, yeah fun times welcome to my life every day see you in a bit hey guys what's up so I know I said I'd see you back at dinner time and it is dinner time, but I've decided to end the vlog here. And I'm sorry to cut things kind of short, but actually these videos have been pretty long lately. So I don't want to like continually keep putting out long ass videos that kind of just um, make you not want to watch the whole thing or just have make it hard for you to keep watching. You know, occasionally there's going to be a long video, but 
I'm still experimenting with the format of videos, experimenting with new content. So I'm just trying to like allow myself the freedom to kind of experiment and play around with the camera, play around with the format of things. So um, welcome to that journey as well. <laughs> um, but I just want to also say I appreciate everyone who has left a comment so far and saying that they find these videos helpful or that they like this video format style. Um, it is like good it's, it's content that i enjoy making i also like making like the sit down topic video so i'm not going to stop those completely but um i'm just kind of playing around with things at this point but uh hopefully <laughs> there's something you can take away from them i think also you know this week has been or the past like <laughs> this whole month so far and beyond i've really been pushing myself uh socially uh, pushing myself into a discomfort level for my anxiety just to because i am so like determined to overcome it um i'm feeling a little bit tired <laughs> and i don't want to get to that point where i'm like burnout mode i don't want to get to the point where i'm in flight mode so for like an extended period of time where i just kind of like fall off fall off face the planet and i can kind of feel myself getting a little bit um, pushed over the edge so I just want to dial it back a little bit and probably just end this video uh, a little bit early don't worry it's nothing I'm not gonna disappear sorry if that sounded weird change is painful uh, change it, it requires discomfort it requires uh, effort and determination to get myself to where I want to be um, but it's not as painful as if I were to stay where I'm at and just you know, continue to let anxiety control me because I'm not about that. I want, you know, this year my word is freedom and I want to move in the direction, go on the path that is going to lead me closer to freedom. So on that note, keep going. <laughs> change is hard. It's hard work. Um, so if you're trying to make a change in your life right now as well, I'm right there with you. Um, don't stop even when it gets painful. I know like my head is like screaming at me. Um, this is hard, I wanna stop, but I'm not going to. But uh, I am gonna stop this video for now. And uh, hopefully whatever you got out of this video, workout and food, it was enough for today. And uh, peace out guys, I'll see you next time.